Hi guys, my name is Sarah and I went to Chicago, Illinois to visit family for spring break. So I decided to do my K Cuisine video there and I decided to go to a restaurant in Evanston, Illinois called Soban Korea. So when like we finally sat down in the restaurant um and started looking over the menu, I was really surprised at how many different things that were on the menu, you know, like I've had Korean food before, um, but I haven't, like, had that many different dishes yet. I'm still, like, getting into Korean culture and trying the different foods, and so I loved, like, looking through the menu and seeing the different dishes they had and what they had in them, and it was fun picking the dishes and stuff. This is more fun than, <laughs> is it? I mean, than those places that have the pictures. You know, those ones that have the pictures or whatever. They have Bibby Mop. Sarah. Or what are those things? Bippy map. <laughs> Noodles. Ramen. Udon is good. Fish noodles and soy dancing. Okay, get the let's get the first thing. It'll just be the experience of it. And then what are you? Korean oh, French What again. are you, I mean? I know what you're getting. I'm getting the spicy. But ask her if that's all it comes with. It's chicken. It's don't you want like a noodle or you don't care? I don't care. All right. Okay. They have bowls. I wonder though if this is the one that they have the fresh on the, on the cooking thing. Oh. The bowl gogi. You mean this is, does it come already cooked? Or you have to cook yeah, it? it doesn't look like they have No, I don't think it's They don't have Yeah, no. The, the cook, those restaurants have those cookers in the center. Mm -hmm. Right, they're already set up. Yeah. So, normally, I probably would have ordered bulgogi because I've had that many, many times and love it. And steak is my favorite food in the entire world. I love meat. Um, but I wanted to try something different this time, a food that I hadn't had before, and I've heard a lot of good things about Korean fried chicken, so I decided to get that. So after we had ordered and we were waiting for our food, um, they had this little, like, side area where they were preparing, like, some side dishes and stuff, and so we actually went over there and we asked one of the waiters to kind of explain to us like the different side dishes that he was preparing um and it was a little awkward <laughs> to ask him but i mean it was cool to find out what the different side dishes were so these are just side dishes this is like marinated bean sprouts uh sea cucumber, sea cucumber mushrooms and tofu so for our appetizer we ordered deep fried seaweed rolls that were filled with glass noodles and I found out that they are typically sold in street food carts in Korea and they were really really good and I really recommend them um, I also really liked the side dishes we got um, the sea cucumbers were a little on the spicier side and I really like those. I also really like the tofu, and I don't really like tofu. I don't really like the texture, but this tofu was really good. 
Um, there was also miso soup, which I love, and rice, of course. Who doesn't love rice? This is your first appetizer, the kimari. And then what is this? Kimari. And what is this made of? It's uh, oh, actually, yeah. seaweed. It's like yeah, it's like deep deep fried seaweed. And then you your side dishes I mentioned earlier. And then here's a bowl for your soy sauce. Thank you. What is this? This is tofu. Oh, tofu. Tofu, sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Um, mushrooms. Mush marinated mushrooms. Or it's like a root plant. Okay. Like a root plant. A root plant. Yeah. It might be mushrooms actually. And Not this one? And that's beans. those are bean sprouts. Oh. All nice. seasoned in a variety of ways. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is spicy pork. Thank okay. you. Okay. And this is the bulgogi. Yeah. What you, and what's in here? Um pork, there's onions, um green onions, some carrots. And that's about it. <laughs> with okay. some spicy sauce and some spicy chicken. Yeah, spicy chicken here. Okay, okay. spicy chicken. Take you it. got that? And here's Are some you rice. It, sis? <laughs> some rice. Yeah. Okay. And this is right. miso soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. not too Korean, but yeah, it's good. That's your yeah. So just the uh, yeah, fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Enjoy. Thank Let me know you. if you guys Thank have any you. other questions. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So I did not know that Korean fried chicken was spicy, um, and it was really, really spicy, but it was really, really good. Like, it wasn't too spicy, but it was still spicy. Like, it was the level of spice that I could handle, and it was so good. It had, like, the perfect amount of crisp on it. <clears throat> it was good. And then um, after we had finished eating... We interviewed our waitress, whose name was Sue, and uh, she was from Korea, and she grew up in um, both in Korea and here in the U.S., and we asked her um, what she felt the main differences between um, growing up in Korea and growing up here in the U.S. were. What do you think um, is the main difference between Korean uh, growing up in Korea and growing up in America? Oh, uh, grow. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, food is definitely different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I I kind of miss food in Korea. Yeah. So um, fruits are sweeter in Korea. I feel like. Oh, really? Yeah, because the soil's different. Um, let's see. Well, in Korea, there's like a very, there's easy access of public transportation everywhere. So, you know, you don't need to have a car. In here, if you live in suburb, you obviously need to have a car. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> so getting to interview her was really interesting. Um, and I thought it was really interesting how she said she thinks the fruit in Korea is a lot sweeter because the soil is different and I also thought it was interesting how she said she feels like transportation is easier in Korea because there's more public transportation and you don't necessarily need a car um, but like here in America you kind of need a car to get around to most places um, and the better public transportation in Korea sounds really good to me because I don't have a car. Overall I had a good experience at the Korean restaurant. Um, it just felt a little awkward because I had to make a movie while I was eating and I'm kind of a shy person and so I felt very timid and awkward about waving my camera around and hey can I interview you for a project. Um, so I kind of wish I had cooked Korean food at my house instead of going to the restaurant because I would have been by myself and I wouldn't have been as shy. Um, but I did enjoy the restaurant. I loved my Korean fried chicken. I will definitely be having it again. I did take it as leftovers and it was still good the next day. Um, but yeah, I had a good experience and I would definitely go back there again and try something else because there were a lot of other dishes that looked really good too. So I hope you guys enjoyed my K-Cuisine video. Um, 
I definitely recommend Soban Korea in Evanston, Illinois. And you guys should definitely give it a chance if you're ever in that area. And Cookie thinks so too. Bye.